Hi everyone. So today's video is a requested video from Helene 20. She also has a YouTube channel and she features a lot of Louis Vuitton bags and I really enjoy her channel. So I'm going to link it below as well, but thank you so much for the request. Uh, Helene. Yes. So we'll just get right into it. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing my Longchamp Ocel 10. This is clearly not the bag, but it is the dust bag that the bag comes in. Um, I love this dust bag. Like my two other Longchamps, because they're the La Pliage style, they didn't come with dust bags, but this one did. And I just, I love the white. I love the green. I love the drawstring at the top. Just, yeah. Oh, when I look over here, my purses are over here. So that's whenever I'm like glancing fondly in this direction, that's what I'm looking at. Just putting that out there. <laughs> but I think out of all my dust bags, this is probably my favorite one. Um, enough about the dust bag. So, look at that drawstring. Sorry, enough about the dust bag. Let's get about, talk about this bag because it makes me so happy. So, this is the Longchamp. Ocel 10 is the style and it is in the Vernis, which is the patent leather, and this is purple. Uh, I know you can also get it in like a really bright electric blue and it just, it looks gorgeous, but this is the one that I ended up with. Uh, and I like to think it was kind of like a weird fate that I ended up with this just because I wanted this bag for quite a long time. And then I went into Whole Renfrew in February and it was just sitting on the sale table, just sitting there. And it was just, my Whole Renfrew doesn't really even carry Louis Vuitton, not Louis Vuitton, sorry, confusing the L's, uh, pardon me, Longchamp. So it was just, it was just so exciting and it was marked down to like 60% off. It was just... It was like my little handbag fate. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I saw her, I had to have her, I bought her, and she makes me happy. Every time I use her, I just, I love her so much. So, outside features, it's really just all about the leather on this one, and then it just has the little Longchamp logo right here. This bag has gunmetal hardware, which is also absolutely gorgeous. And then other than that, she is pretty plain. There are also four feet on the bottom. Uh, with regards to just basic style, this bag really, really reminds me of a Louis Vuitton Speedy, just with the style of it being like a Boston style bag. Uh, and then even the inside features really remind me of a Speedy as well. They are extremely different, but they're also kind of similar just in construction ways. Uh, but yes, so it has the four feet on the bottom. There is another version of this bag that has like, it has one hole here that I don't know why, uh, but this side doesn't have a hole. But on some styles of this bag, it comes with a crossbody strap as well. So if a lot of people I know are not the fondest of just handheld bags, they're my flipping favorite. There's nothing better to me, in my opinion, than this style of bag, but I know it's not for everyone. So yeah, there is also that option as well. So we'll just get into the inside. Uh, yeah, did you hear the zipper? It works so well. I love it. Um, is there detailing on the zipper? There is a little bit of the Longchamp logo and then just further down it says Longchamp. This camera does not focus up close, so just have to take my word for it. Uh, sorry. I should have taken out all the stuffing before I started filming this, but I didn't, so. I saw her stuffed because when you leave patent like alone, I'm worried it will crease in like weird ways. So I just, this is the stuffing. They tried to like take it out of my bag when they sold it to me. And I said, no, 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 leave that in. So they did and yay, free stuffing. That's exciting. Uh, just, there's the receipt it came with. And then it also comes with, mine's kind of squished, but like a little purse dangle charm. Uh, all the versions come with this even did I mention you can get this bag in regular leather? Maybe not, but you can. Uh, I've seen it in black, red, tan, and it's gorgeous. I'm actually debating getting one in red one day, like the red plain leather, just because I love this style and it's gorgeous and having plain leather would be nice too. Uh, but yeah, just this little matching fob. It has like a tassel and it just clips and it's detachable and I don't use it, so it's sitting on the inside. So the inside is just one big pit as well. 
nothing in there. The lining is like a brown sateen fabric. I don't even know if you can see that because it's kind of dark and it just has like the long chomp. Maybe I'll pull the pocket out and then you can... There! That's what it looks like. Uh, just the brown sateen long chomp lining. It just has like the little horse and horsey things. I've never even looked at this. How cute. It has like trees and horseshoes and there's a an man who fell off the horse. It's actually quite intricate. So that's pretty. I don't really like the brown with the purple but you know whatever the bag is so beautiful I don't care so it does have one this is the one interior pocket it has a zipper as well and it is very big so that just kinda reminds me of a speedy as well just because they have that one dangling pocket however it's not nearly this big and it doesn't have a zipper so yeah you can fit quite a lot of things in there I just have the little long shot book in there and again, this zipper has like Longchamp embossed on it as well. And this zipper pull is also gunmetal, but then the zipper seems to be like a matching brown to the inside. So that's really it. Like it's a very, it's a simple bag. It's a gorgeous bag. I absolutely love this. I've considered, or I am hoping one day, if I ever get to go to a Longchamp store, to add like a plain leather one uh, maybe in the red or the tan just I love it I love it so much it's so beautiful <laughs> um, it retails I believe it retails for five hundred and ten dollars I might be wrong that's Canadian also and I got it on sale for two nineteen I believe was the exact price so just <sighs> I love it so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are not familiar with this style. Uh, aside from me, there's a girl on Instagram that I follow who has the red plain leather one that just every time she posts a pic picture of it, I just I swoon. <laughs> uh, and there is another video on YouTube featuring this bag and it's black. Uh, yeah, but it is a gorgeous bag. It's very similar in style, like I said, to the Speedy, so if you really like that style, but, you know, you didn't want to pay nearly that much money, it's kind of a look for less, but not really, because it's not monogram printed, it's very, um, what is the word I'm looking for, subtle, I guess, well, maybe not, it's like bright purple patent leather, but, <laughs> Uh, like it's not covered in logos, it doesn't scream who it's by, it's just understated. Understated was the word I was looking for. It's just, oh, I love this bag so much. If you love this style bag, just, you should go buy this if you want to because I just love it and it makes me happy and I love carrying it and yeah, that's, I can't really say enough good things about it. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this review was actually helpful because, I don't know, sorry if you can hear the sirens. Something bad is happening somewhere, apparently by my house. Okay, they're going away. Sorry. Well, maybe it's not all right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching anyways, and... Yeah, that was my Longchamp Ocel 10. So I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.